Hello there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. Welcome back to another fragrance related review. So today we have a very nice fragrance and this one made me happy. Took me a little bit by surprise as well. So this is the Fragrance World Aqua Stellar from the series of Barakat, okay? And we're going to talk about this particular fragrance, scent profile projection and all of that today. But before that, in case you have not got our decans offer, go ahead and avail it. It's available till the 2nd of February. Uh, more details in the description. So you're watching the Perfume Experience. My name is Dodney. Let's get going right after this intro. All right, so welcome back. So this is uh, the uh, Aqua Stella from the House of Fragrance World, like I said. And if you like, uh, you know, MFK's fragrances, then you know you should definitely kind of you know look for good alternative clones because they are quite expensive fragrances from the House of MFK. Now, in the Aqua uh, Barakat series from Fragrance World, there are actually three fragrances on this particular line, uh, which is replicating most of the uh, you know MFK's fragrances. So there is one with the blue. There is one. Uh, this is the blue one, and this is called Aqua Stella. Then there is a white one, which is called uh, crystal and then there is the yellow one i think it's also called something thing uh, related to aqua something so those are three fragrances that they have a uh, you know clone of all of the mason francis uh, fragrances now this particular one is the aqua stellar is a pretty good looking one so if, first of all if you talk to about the box this has got a basic sleeve like this which can be pulled out like this it's a basic sleeve which uh, is, is just about decent the box itself is pretty uh, decent it's good and i think what they've done is they've gone for the same white box with different colored sleeves just to explain you know, the different uh, fragrances that they have right but the bottle itself is really really good looking and it's very compact and small it looks very nice uh, there's a nice metal plate on the front talking about you know aqua stella and barakat uh, well mason francis series is called the bakarat and here they have gone for barakat okay a little bit of a, uh, you know tongues uh, tongue twister types the cap is very plasticky very light don't make the mistake of holding it this way uh, the atomizer is good and it's got the engraving of fragrance world on the atomizer as well overall i kind of like the way the bottle design is in fact this is what grabbed my attention uh, to talk about the fragrance uh, it's actually a light uh, you know uh, the uh, the top part is a little lighter and the bottom part is a little more darker but it looks very very nice it's very compact to hold as well so let's do a couple of sprays and talk about the scent profile it puffs a lot of air uh, i mean a lot of scent and it's pretty nice it smells very very nice as well you will kind of you know like uh, fragrances uh, this way especially if you like you know non-sweet fragrances if you have a thing for spicy citrusy fragrance and this is something that you will like right so from a notes point of view what you will kind of you know get okay so you uh, if I talk about scent profile you will get citrusy green uh, aromatic spicy marine type you know aqua type of a you know aquatic type of a fragrance but if I were to smell, you can smell strong, uh, you know, a note of lemon uh, with a little bit of probably mint, but a good amount of, uh, you know, the tartness, the zestiness of a lime. Okay, so that is what you will get. You don't get your typical grapefruit, bergamot, that kind of a citrus element. You don't get that. You get more raw, more spicy, more, uh, you know, in your face kind of a nice lime, lemony kind of a zest with a bit of a minty element. Now, the minty element is not very visible here. There is also black current which brings that plumaceous uh, tartness again that's very very mild what really stands out for me in this particular fragrance along with the lemon is a neroli okay the neroli is uh, anyway spicy so that brings that spiciness into this fragrance but also it brings a good amount of freshness and a nice zestiness that you want uh, you know you know fragrance that you kind of like typically to wear for office to wear in the summer you know everyday kind of thing right that part is very nice so you get a nice amount of citrusy spicy uh, you know element with the opening and the fragrance is linear that way it continues to be a little like that you do have other elements in it like musk also which plays a little bit of a role but i would say it's very very low the other elements that are very low on this particular fragrance is again uh, rose and mimosa they are uh, you know absolutely you don't get any hints of it of course but then if you look at green herbaceous wipes that is something that you will get so in in totality if you were to say if you think about this particular fragrance, fragrance it talks a lot about green lemony a zesty a spicy thing it talks about neroli which is again the uh, orange blossom that you kind of you know uh, get the neroli spiciness is very nice black currant like i said you get a little lower not so much do get a good amount of green herbaceous vibe at least and that's very nice in this particular fragrance and of course a good roundup of all of these together with a nice aquatic 
you know freshy water kind of a uh, you know watery type of a notes which makes this particular fragrance very very likable and can be a good element to your summer collection now what also surprising is that this particular fragrance world fragrance um, actually you know does not have any alcohol blast it doesn't have that synthetic vibe that you generally get in fragrances of course all fragrances are made up of synthetic elements i'm talking about probably in the og the uh, you know lemony the neroli part is a little more lively little more natural feeling here i would say it's a little lower but then you can't really complain for the price point in which this comes and in which the the original sells right now what is this an alt of so this particular one the aqua stellar is an alt of the uh, mf case aqua celestia now there are a lot of the series in in the aqua series in mf case thing you know you have uh, aqua universalis you have uh, um, um, the forte you have cologne so many variations this is the aqua celestia one so this is what this particular fragrance is going for because of those nice lemony neroli spicy elements along with this green herbaceous uh, you know uh, uh, notes now aside to that so one is of course no alcohol blast and the fragrance smells really really nice and like i said it's a very good alternative if you're looking for a good uh, you know a clone of the aqua universalis or rather aqua celestia line okay now so the blue one is the aqua celestia one and there is the uh, white one which is the aqua universalis uh, line and that's also a nice one the, I think I have an Aqua Universalis uh, Forte, uh, you know, decant, and that's a little sweet, uh, in a, you know, in, a, in the way, but it's got more uh, flo uh, white flowers and brings up a lot of good vibe. So I think that will also be a good fragrance to try. I, I'm not too sure how different are the Universalis versus the Universalis Forte, but that's something to try. And the yellow one is the um, uh, Aqua Vitae, okay? So I think that's the one that's there, the aqua yellow one. So that's, I think, got a lot of zesty, lemony kind of an element as well. So we can try all of that but this is really really nice this is the alternate of aqua celestia now when we talk about performance of this particular fragrance this is where i was kind of surprised because generally uh, you know a fragrance world uh, perfumes or fragrances for me do not really last a lot when it comes to uh, fresh fragrances now in this case it's a quite a surprise because probably i was not keeping my expectations very high uh, considering the price point or you know i was not really hoping it would be more than two to one half hours time but it actually lasts pretty decently well. One is that, so it does at least about four and a half to five hours of lasting. So that is something that you will like. Second is, it's a soft kind of a scent. It's not a very loud scent. You will get about one and a half to two feet of projection. And for about 45 minutes to one hour, you can definitely smell it. Every now and then, even if you go out in sun, if you wear it for office, you can easily get cover four to five hours easily on this particular fragrance, which is pretty surprising because I did not really expect this. So from that point of view, this is a pretty good surprise in terms of performance, in terms of the scent profile and price point. So we got this from uh, Fragoholic and I think at that point of time it was 1750 or 1850 something like that. So for that price point, considering the bottle design and the way in which this particular fragrance works, I think it's a very good addition to add uh, in your collection of fragrances, especially if you like citrusy fragrances uh, that are uh, very good for office wear. Now, if you want to consider a fragrance from where it can be a reference point, okay, a guide of a reference point uh, to consider is this this particular fragrance this is uh, Tom Ford's uh, Porto Neroli now Porto Neroli also is a similar type of a smelling fragrance where the Neroli is a dominant uh, note on this the only difference is this I feel is a little more sweeter in its opening and then becomes a little more spicier but this one also has got poor performance it does only about three to three and a half hours this is the uh, Mason Alhambra's alternate uh, of uh, Porto Neroli so the Neroli element is pretty uh, you know uh, obvious here as well and I think from there you can kind of get a reference to say how this fragrance smells okay so you can imagine neroli and you can think about a good lime or lemony zest along with a little bit of a white musk the musk part is like i said very soft it's the you know a base note on this particular fragrance and it's not very dominantly very loud it's mostly linear and you will mostly get the um, lemon along with the neroli and a little bit of those green herbaceous white right so if you kind of like fragrances like this and 
you want something that can be worn to office and you want a decent lasting about four to five hours time then definitely get this it's a very one a good one to have in your collection all right so that was my review about the uh, you know Baccarat uh, Aquastellar the alt of Mason Francis uh, Cordesian's uh, Aqua Celestia and if you want me to review the other two in the house I will get that as well I have a couple of more fragrances going to be reviewed next week let me show them quickly to you all right so next week definitely expect reviews to come up of Zellini okay so Zellini is in the house so Ahmad Al Maghrebi Zellini so you can expect a review of this then of course we do have the Dumont series all right so the Dumont red the Dumont green and the black all of them are very nice and I have all of them here for uh, review so these were all available on decan so in case uh, you know you do want to get them still we can I think red is run out we have run out of red but I think green and black are still available we'll try to add red at some point of time right so all of them are going to come out uh, next week or so or in the next few days right so if you like fragrance related reviews if you want fragrances that are trending and you want to get a, a heads up on how they are then definitely subscribe and if you want decans of all of these also you can get it from us right so you're watching the perfume experience my name is Rodney until another time take care bye now